What's going on? Brian Tong here, and welcome to the Apple Bite for everything good and bad inside the world of Apple. It's all about the money this week, and the Big A reported their earnings for the third fiscal quarter of 2015. Now let's talk big numbers with Apple revenue at $49.6 billion and a net quarterly profit of $10.7 billion. The standouts, Apple sold 47.5 million iPhones, up from just over 35 million a year earlier. 4.8 million Macs were sold compared to 4.4 last year, but iPad sales keep dropping, falling to 10.9 million compared to just over 13 million last year. Now Greater China revenues were up 112% compared to U.S. growth of 33%, so you can easily see where there's money to be made internationally. But what about the Apple Watch? Well, Tim Cook said the Apple Watch exceeded expectations, but gave no specific sale numbers. He also said sales of the Apple Watch for its first nine weeks were higher than the original iPhone or iPad when they first launched. Now, the Apple Watch is grouped in with others. That includes the Apple TV, Beats headphones, and the iPod, and makes up only 5% of Apple's total revenue. Now that category saw a bump up from $1.7 billion in the second quarter of 2015 to $2.6 billion in this third fiscal quarter. Now, based on a rough estimate of around 4 million units sold, research firm Strategic Analytics says the Apple Watch created a dramatic shift in the smartwatch market size, with Apple claiming roughly 75% of the global market share in the second quarter of 2015. Now, who's feeling the most pain from Apple's emergence? It's Samsung. Get this, they held 73.6% of the market share until the Apple Watch went on sale and now only hold 7.5% of the market according to these estimates. Ouch. And in more Apple Watch love or propaganda, depending on how you look at it, according to research firm Risley, overall customer satisfaction with Apple smartwatch is at 97%. They pulled from a group of over 1,000 respondents, and it's the highest satisfaction rating for any first-gen product from Apple. See, the original iPhone received a 92% rating, and the original iPad was 91%. Now here's the catch. 66% of respondents were very satisfied, and 31% were somewhat satisfied, which brought them to their number of 97% overall satisfied. So maybe Apple's 99% iPhone TV ad included people who loved their iPhone and people who somewhat loved their iPhone. All right, in software updates, developers are also getting access to the fourth betas for iOS 9, El Capitan, and Watch OS 2 as well. Apple has also released the second public betas for iOS 9 and OS 10 El Capitan. And for those of you complaining to me that it doesn't work with everything, is because it's called a beta. All right, to the quick bites, and after taking Apple's recent hardware sales into consideration, iOS unit sales are now matching Windows PC sales. Android unit sales surpassed Windows PC sales in 2012, but Apple fans can rejoice, you are now part of the club. Also, we've talked about future iPhones removing the home button completely and allowing the touchscreen panel to eventually detect fingerprints. Well, we're getting closer after security firm Sonovation announced their new technology that allows ultrasonic fingerprint sensors to be embedded under Corning Gorilla Glass. The sensors would be bonded directly to the display, and this could be the first step in paving the way for future iPhones without home buttons. Now, Sonovation claims their 3D scanning tech can remain accurate in all situations, even if a finger is oily, dirty, or moist. And I usually don't like saying the word moist, except when it's crucial to a story. And you know what? I'm not going to forget you all. Let's get to our feedback of the week. We asked to hear from you, the Apple Biters, after we did our poll of our own to see if, in fact, 99% of iPhone users do indeed love their iPhones. So here's what you wrote us. Chris Montana says, I love my jailbroken iPhone. Smiles. Porsche for Life says, I love my iPhone because it just works. On email, Monoreth Arun writes, I love my iPhone because it makes the beautiful girls attracted to me. Cool Hussam wanted to let me know that iPhones make me feel warm in my pants. And Ryan Kim says, that husband got wrecked. I love my iPhone almost more than my husband. Yeah, he did. All right, that's going to do it for this week's show. You can always email us at theapplebite at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong, and I'll respond when there's a break in my judo class. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you all next time for another bite of the apple.